Hey, good morning, ladies. Uh, Capri and Navia. I'm probably butchering those names. I'm sorry. Um, but thanks for your time yesterday. Really appreciate it. I know time is valuable. Let's take a look at the two that we kind of landed on. Uh, we looked at the whole spectrum of kind of the lower end price point uh, ones. We kind of didn't get too excited about those. So we landed on these two new imagines, both within your uh, budget, but at the high end. Um, this is the one that uh, is the larger of the two. It's two grand more than the other one I'm going to show you on the same video. So it's just kind of a matter of which floor plan you like. The, uh, so this one is going to be a little bit longer. Um, since we're not towing it, we're just having it delivered, that really isn't an issue. They're both going to have the same pass-through storage. This one, this is the rear living with the couch in the back. And it has two awnings as you can see. Construction methods, grand design quality is the same on both. You'll get a second awning here on this one, but you'll lose a little outside kitchen. So that's a trade-off. This again is the rear living, you guys. Same size refrigerator on both. Um, a little bit different pantry, but the space is you probably have a little bit more storage in this one than the other one, but boy, it's minimal. Um, you do get a big pantry with this one, but there's plenty of pantry space on the other one as well. Biggest difference is this. The other one is going to be a desk refrigerator. This one's a big window and a couch that makes into a bed. That's the biggest difference. Recliners are going to be the same. Heated massage recliners. Um, you can in either one either go with the freestanding table and chairs or the booth dinette. The booth dinette will make into a bed, but the advantage to this is that you can remove that. If you ever needed that space for anything else at all, four screws on that table and all that is gone and you can put whatever you want there. So that's the difference. From here forward, they're both going to be identical. So it's just really the overall length, price, and floor plan that's different. The bathrooms on both are going to be the same. Porcelain toilet, not plastic the same uh, door that Airstream uses for the shower and Grand Design is really good about making it house like so uh, switches just like on a house towel storage more storage here Grand Design is great about different storage options same thing here you've got an overall switch here for your major lights and then these will be either a uh, sexy blue night light like so come on or a bright light for reading those cubby holes will fit the top five best selling CPAPs you have 110 and USB on both in addition to that you have 110 hidden back here on the side of the bed so no lack of uh, energy Second AC here, they both have that. They both have this second closet at the foot of the bed, which is key because look at all that hanging space. Notice the motion sensor light. <clears throat> Grand Design puts everywhere that is dark upon entry. Digital um, AC and heating controls for each AC so you can have a different temperature in the front or in the back so let's walk over to the other one this again is the rear living emblazon it in your memory because we're walking away 110 outlets again everywhere on each side of the, the uh, island and then also here this space is different you have the same space in the other one but it's a desk which we're going to go see now but my point is you have 110 on either side here so crock pot air fryer, Keurig, whatever you're doing, no issue. So that's the rear lab living, the 2970. And then over here is the slightly shorter, same number of slides, MK, mid kitchen. And you guys actually kind of like this one better, I think. 
one awning, but it's a big awning that runs the entire length of your camper and covers your outside kitchen. I don't have the key to that. I wish I did. Um, I might be able to find another one that is open. Yeah. So here's your outside kitchen. It's going to be a little mini fridge and a griddle. If I can do this with one hand. This pops all the way out, and then here's your griddle here. So that's kind of nice to have under the awning. Need two hands to pull that out, though. And then the interior, you will remember this one. This is that one with the desk to the rear. Same refrigerator desk table same recliners same big windows all that open 50 percent for a good breeze no matter which way it's coming from and they both have the fireplaces this one has a televator so you can have all this counter space and no tv if you don't want one or you can pop up the tv when you do want one Hidden hinges, all screws, pocket screws, no staples. And kind of a lighter interior than the Transcends, which we looked at and didn't like as much. 110 outlets, again, everywhere you need them. You've got two of them above the desk there. And then here's your view from your recliners. Which go almost completely flat, but not quite. And these, I only have 2023s. So you're, you're moving forward in time, evidently. And then as I mentioned, this part is identical on both. So no factor. No factor. It's the same. Mismo, mismo. Okay, I hope this helps. You can, as we mentioned, put any of these on your property and then get the hookups and stuff running later because even though prices have steadied a little bit, who knows if that's gonna remain the case. They haven't gone down yet. I'm kind of hoping they do, but man, I am done trying to predict that kind of stuff. I just don't know. But I do know this is the brand I would buy if I were you. 406-696-4750. 406-696-4750. You can see the solar panel up there. Right there. That's on each. It's 165 watts, and that would power your awning, radio, lights, and even your refrigerator. I'll text this to you as I mentioned, 406-696-4750, Montana number, that's where God lives in case you didn't know. And I'm in Buda, Texas, where he visits occasionally. <laughs> hey, let's go camping. <laughs>